The second Autumn International of the 2013 series saw Argentina preparing once again to upset Welsh fans, as they did in the corresponding fixture last year. Wales hadn't won an Autumn International since they last beat Argentina in 2009, but that didn't seem to affect the spirits of the 46,000 fans who came to enjoy the South American encounter. Centurion Gethin Jenkins in the Welsh ranks and Corey Allen winning his first cap. A special day also for Rasio Aguja. This would be his 50th appearance for the Pumas. Despite the fact that the visitors had lost their previous seven international encounters and that Wales had gone 11 matches without an autumn victory, the fans were expecting a rugby treat, and that's what they got. Sam Warburton captaining Wales, and in the absence of Fernandes Lobe, Juan Manuel Leguizamo leading the Pumas. And there was, of course, a very special moment for Gethin Jenkins, as he became only the fourth Welsh player to reach the 100 cap mark. The Millennium Stadium acknowledging the great contribution that the Blues prop has made to Welsh rugby since his first appearance in a Wales shirt 11 years ago. Manuel Cariza, the Western Province lock. Oh, the juggle, he did well, that's interception. No, surely it's going to be tried as Phillips have the leg. It's Mike Phillips, Cordero hunting him down. Phillips looks inside, no, is there. But the dummy is enough, and Mike Phillips goes the length of the field to score. I think they'll be happy with things so far, just a... A few mistakes though to iron out, to give an Argentina plenty of chances, haven't taken them all, and straight through, George North, North for the line, no stopping him now, in for the try, for Will's second try. Good drive from Argentina there again. Wales have to be sharp and Fato gets it going and bigger. And out to Scott Williams. Lee Halpenny now wide to Liam Williams. Takes it well. Inside Dero. Liam Williams infield to Falato. Wonderful try for Toby Falato. The Argentinian defence cut apart. Very, very good attacking position. Yeah, great attack. You see, they'll do the driving, uh, driving line up, you know. They've worked at it in training. And Jones just smuggled that away to Charteris. One good one. body angles. One away. One. Ball at the back with Ken Owens. Let's go. And they are going. They've had one opportunity on it, but they're going faster now, driving towards that line. Oh, right. they go. Down they go. Another try for Wales. Well, they'd be absolutely delighted. Ken Owens, that isn't it? Absolutely delighted. The score. Driving line against Argentina. Hooking on to Ken Owens and dropped it. It seemed to go backwards, but far this is the referee, and that will be the end of things. Uh, they're off. They've seen enough. Happy with the day's play, and Wales very happy with a very, very handsome win. Yeah, very good win by Wales. I think you know that one percent. The kick and chase was good. They varied their attack. They put ball through the hand a little bit more. And then it was just, uh, they, were, they were too strong. Four tries, 40 points to six. It was great, obviously, you know, uh, from last week we had a lot of errors, you know, we tied up our game, got a bit more accurate, and I think we should have today. You know, we can still tie it up for weeks going forward, but, you know, from last week it's a massive improvement. We felt like there was a few um, chances that we left behind, but, uh, you know, apart from that, uh, we, we created chances, we finished off, we started the game well. We went in with the ambition of not conceding any tries, we, we achieved that goal. Um, and like I said, we created some, some good chances. And you know, just, just, despite what people sometimes think and or write, um, you know, about we, we give the players a framework to work in, but that doesn't mean that we, we want them stifled in any way to play rugby and to play what's in front of them. And if they see opportunities to move the ball and to challenge the line and to pass, you know, we, we, we want to try and encourage them to do that. So to see players move the ball from our own 22 or behind our own goal line because they thought, felt that was the right option and was on, 
you know, for, our, for, our, from, for us, so that was um, you know, really, really pleasing. A record-breaking victory and a cap presentation to two newcomers. Samson Lee joining Corey Allen in receiving their first caps from WRU president Dennis Gethin and the other Gethin receiving his hundred. Great pleasure, fourth person to achieve it, to present to Gethin Jenkins his 100th cap. Oh.